Hey everybody, welcome back to Slam Shenanigans. We got a little uh, tractor field mowing video here today. So uh, this is the second cutting on some of this area and the first on uh, some of the other parts of the area, which this first section here is the first cut. Uh, this is stuff that I recently made into meadow uh, within the last year or two and uh, planted it a little bit last year with seed and again this year. And it's still struggling to take off a bit. It's not too bad, but uh, that's why this this area is the first cut. So, and you'll see as the video goes on that it uh, it's definitely, it's worthwhile trying to make this area into, into meadows. It's uh looks better, it's less fire hazard, um, just a lot, lot better off, a lot less uh, bugs and ticks uh, when it's just grass versus a bunch of manzanita and buckbrush and everything else. So, my biggest problem up here is, if you've been following my channel, is rocks, so. <laughs> Um, put in a tremendous amount of effort to try and get the rocks out of the field. Eventually, this would be great if I could actually mow this with the zero turn, but you can see from the dust that uh, we're not quite there yet. But um, the other thing just to note here is that this dust, and uh, since I've bought some different equipment and uh, side by side with a cab, equipments with cabs, oh my gosh, that's the only way to go. I don't think I'll ever buy another piece of equipment that's open cab again. But I still got the old John Deere here. And it is open cab, and I end up filthy after these kinds of things, but um, makes me feel a lot better when it's uh, all done. So what I try to do is try to take a uh, before and after picture of each area, uh, and actually made, try to make an effort to actually move the camera here for you guys. It's, it's a big area, no matter what I'm doing when I'm mowing, so not a lot of close-up shots. Um, don't have a drone or anything to follow me yet. But if you guys hit that subscribe button and help me out and share this with your friends and I get up over a thousand, uh, make this channel monetized, I'll try to buy some better equipment and get you guys better content. So keep watching. I appreciate it. Hit that like button. Interact. You know, make some comments. Um, love to see that. Uh, so this is the second move in terms of the camera. Um, I think I'm, I'm trying to slow this down a little bit so you're not just seeing a tractor buzz around and you actually see what I'm doing. Uh, there's some rocks up there behind there that I was jogging around, so it might take a second to come back in a frame. Uh, yeah, this is a John Deere 3033R. Um, it's a good tractor. Um, it had quite a bit of features on it when I bought it. Uh, it's nothing compared to what we're offering today, but it is open cab. Uh, it's an e-power reverser, so it's easy to shift. You can use a clutch or not. I'm kind of old school, so I still even use a clutch, but... Uh, it's a powerful little tractor for what it is, but since I've got my skid steer, it's like there's just power. Is, it, it seems so weak now that I've got the skid steer that will just lift just insane amounts of uh, weight. And the mower I got on the back there is a used uh, brush hog that's definitely at the end of its life. Um, I could probably replace the blades and get a few more years out of it. Um, but like this year, even uh, the gearbox was rattling apart. I had to completely take the bump stop and the mower blades off to reattach the gearbox. Blades are in poor shape. Um, it's not really giving a good quality of cut anymore. So here's the third area that we're going to go into. Um, so that was a still picture trying to get the before. And like I said, it's far away and I understand that you guys can't really see the big difference in person. It makes a huge difference before and after mowing. Um, makes me feel good to have these things mowed. Uh, you'd be surprised how much difference even with the grass and the fire danger between mowed and unmowed. Um, once you mow it and get it down around four inches, if there's a fire in this area, it's going to go through relatively slowly. Whereas if you have a foot to two foot of grass to three foot of grass, this thing can just rip through here and it actually can get up into the tree. So that's the other thing I'm trying to do in the coming years here is, is to try and get the canopy up a little farther so that if I do have a fire come through my area, uh, it'll hopefully stay on the ground and not get into the trees. Because once the fire gets in the trees and burns the canopy of the tree, then you're pretty much got a dead tree. And it takes years and years and years to recover. So these trees here in front of us are probably uh, 20, 30 years old at least. Uh, some of the bigger ones are 60, 80 years old. Uh, mostly oaks in here, there's a few pines and cedars. Um, and like I said, if you're following my channel, you know that I'm, I'm for the most part getting rid of as many pines as I can. They're very, very messy, create a lot of pine needle duff, um, which is fire hazard. 
Uh, these are bull pines here, if you're looking at those big old nasty things. Um, and leaving, leaving the good cedars and leaving all the oaks that I can. Um, so hopefully we'll end up with like more or less a parked out area, which is kind of what this is getting close to afterwards. So this area is the second cut. Um, this is meadow. This was the first meadow I created when we moved in here. So this meadow is probably four plus years old. Um, didn't have to do any seeding in this area at all. It's very, very thick. And like I said, this is the second cut. So this is probably a foot, foot tall, if you can see it. Um, and then if you look to the right of the screen there, um, where it's really green, that's where all the runoff from the highway comes down for water. So, uh, as of this day when I was mowing, there's still quite a bit of mud right there. Um, and if you also follow, I don't know if I posted it this year. I did on my social media accounts, but uh, I post a, uh, a, dust, a mud to dust day every year. So I think it was sometime in April this year, the end of April. And that's basically when my property goes from mud to dust. <laughs> so, and it happens quick. Um, yeah, so here I'm trying to back up and get some of the edge. There's a real steep drop off there, so I can't necessarily drive parallel to it. I have to kind of back up. And then this is actually a really steep little shot here too. Hard to tell on this one, but from that tree to the little access road, there's about a foot and a half, two foot drop off that you gotta be careful with. But just trying to get the grass down, uh, get rid of this fire danger and make it look a little nicer. So it's probably, I don't know, between these two areas, three to four acres maybe anyways appreciate you guys watching if you do uh, enjoy this please hit that subscribe button the like button and share it with your friends thanks